What's going on guys? Welcome back. Dylan and Jason here with a special guest host for the day. We have Mr. Chris Nardi here from Boosted Stripes. <laughs> We're here in the Boosted Stripes studio bringing you guys episode 10 of Customs of the Week. Chris worked with us for years at DCF and he's now with Boosted Stripes. So why don't you give a little bit of a rundown on what you guys do here, Chris? Yeah, so Boosted Stripes, I started about eight months ago and what we sell are adhesive kits to customize the Ultra Boost, the NMD, and the Uncaged Ultra Boost. It's a kit that comes with adhesive stripes. You install them yourself. You use a heat gun or a hair dryer, um, and that's about it. Yeah, so shout out to Chris for joining us today. Uh, like Dylan said, this is episode 10 of season one. So next season, we're gonna bring you more of like a theme for every episode, and next week, we're gonna have something special planned. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So yeah, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah. So for the, for now, let's just dive right into it. All right, and first up, we have this tie-dye inspired pair of Yeezys done by Hoy Customs. Uh, this is a pretty cool theme. He obviously did uh, some nice kicks NMD inspiration done with the uh, Lakers colorway. He's calling these the LeBron. So pretty cool. <laughs> pretty pretty nice timing. What do you think about him, Chris? Um, I mean, I didn't get the Lakers vibe from him personally. I kind of instantly thought of the Adidas ASU Ultra Boost. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of brought me that yellow and maroonish color. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're very cool, very unique. You don't see them too often. Yeah, even with all these photos, he went with the very like minimalistic mm -hmm. look to it, yeah. and it's just like I just on the concrete or whatever floor that is, yeah. maybe like uh, rubber. But I think it just it makes the colors on the shoe yeah. pop out. So clean work on the butters. Doing doing the tie dye on that prime knit. Yeah, tie dye is super clean. There's yeah. nice spacing between everything. For sure. You can see the streaks as well. For sure. Good work. So next up we have Kendra's Customs with a pair of checkered slip-on bands. She hit, she threw like the the Uniqlo. You know I'm a fan of these. The uh, Sassy Three Uniqlo collab on there with the yeah. portrait of Cookie Monster. And Elmo, um, you know, these just look like this is, this is like an part of the release. collab, yeah, yeah exactly. Part sure. of the collab, it sure. should have been. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think, Chris? Yeah, I think they're pretty awesome. Kendra does some awesome line work, uh, colors always pop no matter what mm -hmm. material she's working on. It's pretty amazing, uh, even against canvas and against cloth, that she can make the blue and the red so vibrant. Yeah, those look great on that on the uh, checkered bands. Obviously, they stand out a ton. and. You can't help but think that this is like part of that collab. So anytime you can achieve that look through custom art, great work. Next up, we have a pair of Magnolia themed Air Force Ones done by La La Land Art. This is some really clean work here, trying to pull off this realistic floral print on top of the Air Force Ones. Good call using this as a base shoot. You really can't go wrong with an all white Air Force One. Yeah, I'm really glad they also went with the white clean like background. Like mm -hmm. just the, the Let the art do the talking, yeah. Exactly, because the blues basically, they just pop off yeah. the shoe. And I think if they would have put it against grass, they wouldn't have had the same effect. I agree, I agree. Flowers to me are one of the coolest things that you can paint because almost anyone could lay down a stencil, fill in a solid color, but to actually make those petals come to life takes mm -hmm. true talent. And the way they use the brush strokes towards the bottom of the pedal and they get lighter towards the top, you can tell they really took their time. Great work. Next up, we got a pair of Gatorade 4s done by Wally Champ. This pair, what I think really stands out to me is the way that they're able to create the G's and the Gatorade logos against the green using just a darker green. Mm -hmm. um, really clean stencil work. You can see it throughout the shoe. And then on the back heel tab, they added uh, kind of an orange flare to it that included uh, a bunch of different colors, made them really pop. Yeah. Definitely a head turn when you walk clean. by. Yeah, like like Chris said, the contrast between the green and the orange really makes the, mm -hmm. the logo stand out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those leather laces too, mm -hmm. that's a great touch. But I know Chris kind of touched on it, like just that little vignette around the logos really goes a long way. You could clearly see some real talent here with the airbrush, the gradients on the logos on the tongue. Great stuff, super clean work. Last up on the list, we have Starland Customs with a pair of Cherry Blossom Stan Smiths. Uh, going to this guy's page, we honestly didn't know which ones to feature, but yeah. the gradient on this is so clean and just, wow. you, know, you don't even know where it starts and ends, wow. so we decided just to go with this one. Also, the line work and just, you know, everything about the blossoms is just, mm -hmm. just sick, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was definitely going to touch on the gradient, how good it looks, the fade, mm -hmm. you can't even tell where it stops and starts. But honestly, since you already touched on it, I want to talk about kind of the tree branches. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing how they go from thick to thin and how you can control that. It reminds me of Dylan with his uh, Toothpick Chronicles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know these guys touch on it, but that gradient, wow, that is serious. That is, you know, I think the best part about these. The cherry blossoms are awesome, but pulling off that gradient, really how clean it is. You really can't see any starting stopping points. Great work. I think overall the, the photo is just, you know, something that we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. Just gets the job done. Shows oh, yeah. the artwork, you know, up against concrete. Gets the job done. Looks great. Clean work. I think he also did a great job picking a good base model because if you notice yeah. the back tab yeah. um, kind oh, of yeah. blends with all the mm -hmm. colors. Definitely. And it came yeah. that way along good with the tongue and the sock liner. Mm -hmm. Just all fits really well. 
All right, so that's a wrap on this week's episode, guys. We want to give a major thanks to Chris for hosting us here in the Booster Stripe studio. We're filming a vlog today, and we came here to drop off a pair of shoes for Chris. Oh, man, guys, it's been awesome. Too much. I'll show you guys uh, the shoes Dylan made for me. He added a, a special touch to them. Put some uh, purple Booster Stripes on them. Very cool. So thank you guys so much for that. It's sure. awesome. I'm super excited Great. about it. Thank it's been you. a great time filming. Thank you for having us, man. Thank you for having us. Yeah, Chris, thank you so much for hosting us. We appreciate it. Um, we're going to head back to the studio now to finish this outro. So, Chris, thank you so much. We'll see of you course. later. See All you guys right. there. We'll see you guys. All right, so we made it back to the studio. We thought it was only right to finish Customs of the Week, or we started Customs of the Week Definitely. in our own studio. And we want to give a massive, just massive, massive thank you to everyone who's been watching, supporting, commenting, DMing, like everything, you know, just thank you to everybody. When we started this, we didn't think like what was going to come yeah. out. We didn't know what was going to come out of it. So, mm -hmm. you know, just it's great to see that everyone's yeah. just supporting it and just, you know, like commenting other people's um, mm -hmm. pictures and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for being part of that um, special like episode for next week. We're only going to feature female customizers. Mm -hmm. So... Stay tuned yeah, for that Yeah, stay tuned one. for that That's one. We kind of have one. an idea what we're going to do yeah. for that one. Yeah. So like Jason said, thank you guys for sticking with us through 10 episodes. Feedback is just absolutely tremendous. We can't thank you guys enough. Mm -hmm. I know we're both really shocked with where this has gone in just 10 short episodes. We're going to be doing this in 10 episode segments. That's going to be considered a season. So season two will be coming at you guys next week. Like Jason said, first episode, we're only speaking about female customizers. There's a lot of good ones out there. So you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. We really can't thank you enough, guys. Keep up the support for us. We really appreciate it. We're still going to be using the same hashtag customs of the week to get people featured and bring a lot of other artists to the spotlight. So thank you for sticking with us. Give this video a like if you're enjoying the series. Make sure you're subscribed to the page, and we will see you guys in that next video.